Ida Minerva Tarbell was a middle-aged female investigative journalist. She started from the bottom by putting her small pieces of journalism about the Standard Oil Company in a magazine called McClure's Magazine. After that, she rose to making books, her most famous being the history of Standard Oil Company, which made her famous for helping take down John D. Rockefeller's monopoly. John D. Rockefeller entered the oil business in 1863 by investing in a Cleveland, Ohio refinery. Then he went on to make Standard Oil Company knowing that it would already be a monopoly. Rockefeller was the first billionaire in world history. He operated Standard Oil Company for 27 years and retired in 1897. Then his company was exposed by Ida Tarbell. Ida Tarbell broke the barriers of journalism because she took down an entire company with just her articles and books alone, which made the government follow up by their inspection on the Standard Oil Company. If she had not taken down the Standard Oil Company, we could still be under the control of Rockefeller's oil business. Standard Oil Company was founded by John D. Rockefeller in 1870. It started as a small corporation in Cleveland, Ohio. It had 60,000 employees in 1909. The trust broke up on May 15, 1911 because of an overload of power. Rockefeller mainly invested in oil. This made him the richest man in the world. Adjusted for inflation, he would be worth about $340 billion. Ida Tarbell became a famous journalist and leading muckraker during the Gilded Age or Progressive Era in American history. Her countless journals and classic book, The History of the Standard Oil Company, exposed the corrupt business practices of John D. Rockefeller, helping shape many government reforms and providing the power of investigative reporting to protect the common man. Our thought was that Ida Tarbell changed the course of investigative journalism. Ida Tarbell's book was published over two years, 1902 to 1904. It was called The History of the Standard Oil Company. It was a 19-piece article. It was finished in October of 1904. She published it because she could probably see what this country could have been if someone didn't do something about Rockefeller's oil monopoly. The book that Tarbell wrote was so great that it led to the Clayton Antitrust Act, which was a piece of legislation passed by the U.S. Congress in 1914 that was against monopolies. This act was very important and was basically started by Ida Tarbell. Ida Tarbell changed the course of journalism also because she was one of the first people, if not the first person, to take down an American monopoly with her investigative journalism skills, which she was always perfecting. Ida Tarbell's work in McClure's magazine was wonderful. But when she released the History of Standard Oil Company, people recognized the book and it showed people that the Standard Oil Company is doing something awful and corrupt. The book was the book was what caught the government's eye and made them take down the Standard Oil Company. Like we said before, without her, the Standard Oil Company's reign could have lasted much longer. Before Ida Tarbell exposed Rockefeller's monopoly, people just thought of Rockefeller as a normal rich businessman. But when Tarbell exposed the monopoly, everyone that read the article agreed that the Standard Oil Company was corrupt. This changed everyone's perspective on Rockefeller and his company because she exposed the corrupt business practices of Rockefeller. This was a big part of history because back then, women were thought of as even inferior to men. But this proved that women can do anything, even take down a guy that manipulated people into letting him buy their oil refineries, which made him very rich and powerful. This also showed that women could be great investigative journalists too. Tarbell's and Rockefeller's legacy lasts forever. There are many places named after Rockefeller and places he helped fund like the Rockefeller Center in New York. In Chicago, Rockefeller Chapel in the University of Chicago. Also, there are still legacy companies from the Standard Oil Company like BP Gas Station, Exxon Mobil, and Chevron. Rockefeller's company broke up into 34 smaller companies. After he got exposed by Tarbell, he ended up donating a lot of his money to help other people. This proves that he was not a terrible person. 
In total, adjusted for inflation, he donated about $15.6 billion. His last donation was to help fund the University of Chicago. Ida Minerva Tarbell proved that journalism wins in the long run. Her books proved this too. It was crazy how she could single-handedly prove that a multi-billion dollar company was doing something bad. Overall, Ida Tarbell really did break barriers of journalism and showed that her skills of investigative journalism changed how people think of journalism today.